Hi everyone, Mature Simmer here. So I'm going ahead and I'm going to be working some customs contracts. So I thought I'd go ahead and bring you along so you can kind of see how this works. So I'm logged into this server and they've got lots of things available. So I'm going to go ahead and just start out with soy. We'll see how long I keep going. So I've got to do 500,000 soy and get them moved. There's a sell point relatively close by. So let me pop back over to the server so you can see they've got, you know, 1.2 million soy, a million canola, almost a million barley, and then some red grapes. And there's a lot of contracts out there, so I'm assuming they're all related, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some of these. And start filling the soy. So it takes a bit to fill the truck. Uh, it's got 100,000 capacity. I know I mentioned that very, very early on in one of my initial Misty Hills videos as I was just explaining FSN in general. And what I'm going to do is take it down here to more co-op. So just head south here, head on over. Uh, it does appear someone else is theoretically on the server, but I've said hello a while ago and they haven't answered, so maybe they're away from their keyboard. But the largest contract anyone can place out there is 500,000. So, um, you know, that's what I'm grabbing at this point. I'll certainly make a change. I'm just hoping he's not in the middle of the road somewhere that I have to avoid him. But I guess we'll see what we see. It looks like he's got maybe just a really basic yard over here at the edge of 22. I don't remember what color farm he was because I did take a look. And there he is just standing. So, yeah, a lot of times people are just away from the keyboard. And they do that, and that way if someone jumps in and takes their equipment, they can get in and do that. But... So we'll run that here, turn off our turn signal, and I've not delivered on this map before, so this one's a new one to me, it's County Line. Uh, I'm assuming it's usually these large locations, I guess the simplest thing would, oh, well. I wanted to tag the location, not jump out of the truck, but anyway. Um, I'm going to head in this way, and we'll see what we see. But basically, once you figure out where you're going, contracts are pretty basic. Um, you're just delivering the product until you've fulfilled it, and you know then either grab another one or be done. But, uh, okay. I'm not sure I can fit in there. I don't know that I want to... This that should be okay. Alright, well, that looks like the fill point. Where is the drop-off point? Well... This may be more challenging than I thought, because, yeah, there's, oh, there they are, okay. Went too far, I think I was looking the other way as I went around the building, hoping I probably should go in the other bay, the roof's a little low here, and sometimes with these trucks they'll, they'll hit the roof and it'll cause a problem. So... We'll go ahead and dump here, and I'm on the FSN farm, which I'm able to do as 
as long as I'm not on my own server, because otherwise I'd have to leave my own farm. So I can do contracts on other servers. and So that 67,000 goes to the FSN farm. I'm going to go ahead and um, change that back. I was playing around with currency and had myself on the pound, as you could tell. And um, I was testing a few things out with different measuring units. I, I know currency doesn't really do anything other than display, but it does stay in place in Farming Simulator from one game to the next. So when I do things like the Polish roleplay series and so forth, it's in Euros. Sometimes they'll come into my FSN farm and and have euros still turned on so if you guys caught that on some videos that's why similar to seeing it on this video but so that's one load 100,000 need four more so at this point I've got really nothing else to share on customs right now it's just moving things back and forth, so I'm going to put this on time-lapse, and I'll check in later. I just delivered the last load for the 500,000 so I'm gonna hop out and complete the contract and get the next one so once you're here on the server it's been fast enough that I'm still here and I'll still be logged in but you'll notice that all I can do is cancel the contract that's because there's timers on the contract that require you to hold it I think for at least 10 minutes before the button comes up and that's just so people don't snag a ton of contracts so we'll go ahead and mark this completed we'll then look for customs again so this that part can be a little confusing because it says all contracts but it seems to be a subset of contracts so if you're looking for specific types it's just best to go ahead and sorry go ahead and um, just find them and select them so what I'm doing is and I'm gonna go try to get to the top one which I think is this one yeah because this is Fisher is the other one Fisher too no it's, it is but it's canola okay so I'm going to finish this up. So 125,911 soy is what's left on this contract. So again, because they can only do 500,000, you've got to be careful what you get. So what I do is I go ahead and go in here into server and I bring up the limiter and what I'll do is 25911 and I'll set that and then I'll just reset the truck after we do this one load but this way I get just the amount I need and I don't have to play around and so that's a, a trick uh, I don't know. I would hope everybody's doing that, but 
I honestly don't know if people just try to get close and estimate, because I don't know how many people know about the limiter. But that's one of the things I wanted to make sure I included so that people did see it in case you're working on contracts for FSN that you know you have that available to you and then you're not trying to just get lucky and stop the silo because obviously it'd be virtually impossible to get it to the specific leader any other way other than with a limiter. And in many cases, like, um, people don't need to worry about it because a lot of times, I would say probably 80-90% of the time, if not higher, it's pretty rare to come in here and have a server like, like this where there's just boatloads of crops across the way for obviously multiple farms because at this point you can see the soybeans counting down where it's 700 12, 30,000, um, so there you go. So I've hit the fill limit. So I'll go ahead and run this, and then reset the limiter and make it 100,000, and then I'll likely just grab the canola contract at the top for 500, fill that, and just keep going. So. At this point, because this server has so many contracts, I tend to do them in sequence because the higher up they are on the list, the longer that they've been waiting. So I, you know, if I'm in their shoes, obviously I, I want to get my payment or I want to get my crops to the warehouse just as much as anybody. So I tend to just kind of do the first come, first serve type of thing. And even in general, that's kind of how I selected this server is there were things at the top of the list. It just happens to be a bonus that they also happen to have a lot. So now that I'm on, I'm just going to work on this server because it makes little sense to hop in and out. And hopefully there's other people other than me working contracts today and someone will grab the others anyway. And there's a possibility we may see someone pop in here and try to work one of the other contracts too. But if they don't, I've got some time and I will go ahead and keep working them. But basically, you've now seen how the contract works. But I guess I'll go ahead and just kind of summarize everything to make sure. So before I do that at this point, you just reset and that will reset back to the top. You don't have to type in 100,000 to reset the limiter. But at this point, the truck then will be filled until it's full. So that will let me get the 100,000 to go with the 25,911 that I pulled and therefore um, I've got that contract fulfilled. So I know sometimes people have tried, because I've seen it happen, people try knowing there's multiple contracts. They're like, well, I'm not going to run a partial truck. I'll just fill the truck, and then I'll just grab the contracts. The place where that can burn you is if someone jumps in and then suddenly grabs that other contract that you were in the middle of fulfilling and you know now they don't have enough they're doing an audit if you guys don't see each other and chat it can just turn into a mess so especially with the customs or, or the cell point as close to customs as this one is it's what two minutes may, at most down the road i just actually run the contract as it's meant to be run and and do it that way it just avoids any errors and any problems so all right so this will get the silo down to under 700,000 in soybeans but most importantly for whoever Fisher Farms is they'll be happy because they'll have 625,000 soybeans delivered and so they've either been paid or they can now put them up for sale in the resource exchange
Um, let's see. Oops, that's not the particular one I wanted. I wanted that one. So, okay, so Fisher Farms is actually the mayor. Uh, the FM that's on is Serenity Acres. I don't know that I've seen anything for them. I think Fax has got some of the contracts out there. So, the FM did come back from the keyboard, and, and yeah, he did say he was away. So he apologized that he wasn't able to say hello right away. But we chatted a little bit while I was hauling that first contract, and sounds like they've been waiting for folks to service their contracts as well. So I'm glad I had some time today when I was able to come in and and help out. So And we get the bonus that we can get a customs video out for folks so that they can learn how to do these if they need to. So kind of get a two for one. I get a Misty Hills episode like normal, but I also have a tutorial episode here and how this works. So I'm going to, as the summary all at once here, the process and the cleanest way that the process works is find a contract by selecting customs export and search the list. Identify the server that that contract is on. I then, before you accept it, encourage you to make sure you can get on the server. You may not have some of the mods. You may need to update things. Uh, the other day when I was running a contract, I had to pull down the map because it had changed since the last time I had been on one of those servers. So it was Medicine Creek, and I just haven't been on Medicine Creek. And long enough that the map has changed at some point. This one, I was expecting the same thing because I don't think I've ever been on county line, but this map must have stayed pretty static and they haven't had to make any changes to it. So it all worked. So um, once you're verifying you can get in the server, you're obviously in the server, obviously check customs and make sure that what you're supposed to haul that you saw on that contract is actually there because that's the audit that you're required to do, which is what the yes drop down is in the contract. Once you know you can do it, grab the contract, come back in here, sign in, and join the MS FSN farm. Grab the appropriate truck. Obviously, if you're moving milk or something liquid, you're going to use the tanker instead of the dump. And then run the loads biggest challenge sometimes is just keeping track of how many loads you've done especially again like in the situation that I'm working on here where there's multiple FM's loads in there for the same crop so you want to make sure you're hauling the right amount haul it and usually by then when you come back in you'll be able to accept the contract so or, and you'll have to refresh the screen and you'll be able to complete the contract It'll be interesting here with this one because I've only had to run two loads and it's so close. I may not have hit the timer, so I may actually need to wait. If I do, I'll, I'll just do that and then I'll pick another contract up when I can. All right, so I'm out here on the server. I'm going to refresh. Oh, it's actually going to let me complete. So as I said, I think it is just a 10-minute timer. It's not very long. So even for something quick like that, it still probably takes 10 minutes. Um, so it usually works, but there have been times where I've gone in, I've completed it, and then I can't find it. So the reason I put the server number in the find was, A, I know there's a lot of these around, so this way I can just quickly go down to those. Okay, so this is Fisher Farms Canola. Just verifying it's really the one I think, and I accept it, and then I repeat the process. And then you'll have a running history here of contracts you've worked over time. I'm thinking they do vanish, because I've certainly done more contracts than that over my time 
in FSN, so I don't think they linger there forever, but I could be wrong. Maybe I'm overestimating what I've done, but I think there's we're seven contracts for this server out there, so I've got a couple hours that I can, at least, that I can play today, so my intent is I will see if I can get this server cleaned up for these guys. So it is an important part of the FSN economy, and just like in real life, if we've got a trucker shortage, like we do in the real world, things get glommed up, and, you know, like we've got all the containers here in the U.S. stuck in the port of L.A., and things aren't moving around, although we've been assured that for Christmas the shelves will be full and there's going to be no shortages. Just like, you know, the real world, you know, the, the nice thing is Farming Simulator partially and FSN attached to that in this case, because obviously the customs contracts are an FSN construct, but obviously the traveling and dropping to a silo and making the 67,000 per truckload is is farming simulator driven so marrying those two together for it to f work you need somebody to come in and, and actually drive the truck just like in real life you know you might have a truck sitting in the yard but if there isn't a driver who's willing to run the load uh, the load doesn't get delivered so we've got to keep the wheels greased here in FSN as well we'll wrap this one up and call the episode done. Thanks for watching.